We wanted to show you the Santa Cruz Island buckwheat uh, here, and this is actually a spectacular example of a Santa Cruz Island buckwheat. Eriogonum arborescens is the uh, botanical name. Arborescens means uh, tree-like, and you can see where it gets kind of that reputation as being a uh, rather woody plant. In fact, if you look down at the base of this plant, you see it had very thick stems. One of the neat things about uh, Eriogonum arborescens, or the Santa Cruz Island buckwheat, is that it forms an interesting mounded shape like this. Um, now, the name is a little misleading. It's not just found on Santa Cruz Island. It's also found on Anacapa and Santa Rosa Islands. So it's actually a three-island endemic, um, but it is an endemic to just those islands. This plant is just about to go into bloom, so you're seeing kind of uh, two layers here, which is interesting about it. Maybe we'll show you this in close-up, but there's a leaf layer, and then the flowering stalks are just a couple inches above the uh, leaves, and they're just about to break out into color, into little pink flowers. In fact, you can see some starting here, and we have another one nearby that we'll show you uh, some details of it in just a moment. Okay, we've got a close-up look of the Santa Cruz Island buckwheat here. This is a much smaller example of the one we showed you earlier, but it is in full bloom just about. So you got these beautiful pink little blossoms on here, white to pink. Later on in the season when the uh, flowers get all pollinated and go to seed, they get on a rust brown color like this. And so the whole plant will take on this interesting rusty look. Um, there's many uh, hundreds of seeds in a small little cluster like this. And in fact, um, people have been known to eat um, buckwheat pancakes made out of California buckwheat. And I actually made buckwheat pancakes with somebody made out of Santa Cruz Island buckwheat. The term buckwheat comes from the family, the Polygonaceae, that it's a member of. And buckwheat pancakes were made uh, with basically the seeds of another kind of buckwheat in a different genus than this one. Nonetheless, people have used seeds from this plant to sort of fortify the uh, batter of, buck of uh, pancakes, uh, giving them more protein. And we actually did this once uh, with this plant, very carefully uh, extracting the seeds, uh, or really extracting the stem material from this type of uh, um, thing that you get from the flowers. And it added a rather interesting taste, I mean interesting in a good way, to the pancakes and it certainly gave it more protein uh, rather than just the batter. So anyway, Santa Cruz Island buckwheat is a beautiful example, one of the two endemics we have on Santa Cruz Island.